QCells just invested two and a half billion dollars to bring the solar panel supply chain back onshore here to the United States. Recently, I had a chance to tour QCells manufacturing plant in Georgia, which is currently the largest US solar panel manufacturing plant. And I also had a chance to visit the new facility under construction in Cartersville, Georgia, which is going to bring not only the solar panel manufacturing, but the solar ingots, wafers, the solar cells. So literally you have raw materials coming in one end of the facility and finished solar panels rolling off the loading dock on the other end. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past 12 years, I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge, you're going to find product reviews on solar panels, batteries, inverters, uh, pretty much any piece of technology that makes up a home renewable energy system. Now, in today's video, I'm talking about QCell's massive investment in bringing solar panel manufacturing back onshore here to the United States. Now, for those of you who've been in the industry for a couple of years, you'll remember that one of the biggest issues that we had to deal with in late 2021 and going into 2022 was disruptions in the solar supply chain. And so you'll remember if you were operating during that time as a salesperson or as a contractor, that obtaining certain brands of solar panels, obtaining certain solar components was very, very difficult. And if you were able to get them, you may have to have a pay a higher price or you may just have to wait much, much longer for delivery. Uh, and I know at the time running a sales dealership is very frustrating because the, the solar panels, the solar equipment that we were able to sell and offer to homeowners, we were, it seems like we're constantly changing it up. And so as part of the recently passed Inflation Reduction Act, the U.S. federal government started offering generous incentives to bring renewable energy industry manufacturing back on shore here to the United States. And so QCells, I think, really was first to put their money where their mouth was in terms of opening up a U.S.-based solar panel manufacturing plant and then really doubling down on that investment uh, after the IRA was announced. But we've seen other companies as well. Enphase recently announced they're going to be doing some of their microinverter manufacturing here in the United States. But the really unique thing about QCell's approach is not only are they doing the, the, the final solar panel manufacturing here, but they're going deep up the supply chain or deep into the supply chain to really be a fully vertically integrated operation. And so when we're talking about solar panel manufacturing, basically there's, there's the raw silicon, what they call polysilicon material that then is grown into or manufactured into ingots. Those ingots are then used to make solar wafers or silicon wafers. And then those silicon wafers are used to make solar cells. And then of course, once you have the solar cells, you can then assemble and wire multiple cells together to make your finished solar panel or your, your solar module. And so what QCells is doing is they're doing the ingot manufacturing, the wafer manufacturing, the cell manufacturing, and the completed solar module manufacturing, literally all in the same facility. Uh, it's a massive complex that's currently under construction in Cartersville, Georgia. I actually visited there uh, last month, where literally they're going to be doing all of those processes under the same roof. So you've got raw material coming in one end, finished solar panels rolling out the loading dock into containers and trucks on the other end of the facility. And so I think what you're going to see is, you know, not only is there going to be less chance of, of supply disruption, but there's also probably going to be tremendous cost savings as well, which means that QCells is not only going to be able to pump out higher volume, but probably at, a, at an extremely cost competitive price. Now, what I also learned is that they even went a step further in even acquiring a stake in the company that produces the raw polysilicon. Now, for a number of reasons, they couldn't do the polysilicon manufacturing at the Georgia facility. So that's actually happening in Washington state uh, and then brought to the facility in Cartersville, Georgia for the final manufacturing and processing. But essentially QCells has invested and, and really has taken ownership in the entire vertical supply chain for solar modules from pulling the raw materials out of the ground to processing it, refining it, shaping it into solar cells and then assembling solar cells into finished solar panels. 
Now, as of today's recording, with QCell's two facilities in Dalton, Georgia, they already have over two gigawatt capacity, which means they can produce over 30,000 solar panels per day. However, once the completion of the new facility in Cartersville, Georgia, they're going to have over eight gigawatts of capacity and the ability to produce over 45,000 solar panels per day. So in many ways, QCells is distancing itself from the pack in terms of a true commitment to made in USA solar panel manufacturing. Frankly, I think it's gonna be hard for a number of the other manufacturers to keep up just in terms of production volume and consistency of supply. And so if, if I was still in the installation business right now and I had to pick one panel to sort of be my go-to standard panel, not, not that it's standard in terms of quality, but let's standardize on this because this is the panel that I have the most confidence that I can get consistently at a good price and at high volume would be the new Qcells Qtron G2 430 watt panel. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen this year's top five solar panel lineup, go back and watch our video where we review the top five solar panels going into 2024. Um, the Qcells Qtron G2 430 watt panel ranks kind of in the middle of the lineup. And if you're looking at just the, the performance or the efficiency of the panel, that's probably where it belongs. But if you're considering the strength of the or overall organization and the reliability of supply, Again, being a, a nearly 100% made in USA product now, uh, I think it's gonna be very, very hard to compete with the Qtron uh, G2 430 watt module. Well, folks, this has just been a, a brief discussion uh, announcement here on QCell's investment. Uh, again, I, I had a chance to personally tour both facilities, the, the current Dalton facility, where they have two plants that are operating now, uh, as well as the Cartersville facility, which will be operational by the end of 2024. Um, I think it's really gonna be hard to beat QCell's in terms of uh, production volume here. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, there's some other top brands that are manufacturing in the U.S. now. Uh, Silfab, of course, has their facility. They're, they're producing made in USA solar panels as well. Uh, but I think QCells has really put their money where their mouth is and saying, hey, we are committed to the U.S. market. We are committed to made in USA um, and not just the solar panels themselves, because as you're going to see in some other videos coming out soon, QCells is now also doing their own inverters. They're doing their own battery backup systems, um, and they're even offering offering their own solar loans and solar lease financing products. So uh, again, I think they're, they're, they're committed and they're here to stay. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that we have here on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new news, whether it be product news, industry news, announcements like this, you can stay up to date with us. Thanks again for spending some time with Solar Surge. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.